so you're progressing nicely through the game, establishing a simple yet sufficient settlement. You've got your usual crafting tables, complete with upgrades, a farm for growing ingredients to rustle up your latest recipes, and a cosy cottage for resting out the long, dark nights. All the while, the Black Forest looms, ready to unleash its dangerous occupants upon your settlement at any given moment. From grey dwarfs to skeletons, you're generally under threat very early on in Valheim, and so you need some simple defences. And that's why I've made this quick video for a super cheap and easy stone defensive wall that is sure to keep out more than just those pesky grey dwarfs. Construction is as simple as using the stone wall combinations to build up 3 meters high, the cheapest being with a 2 meter high wall and then a 1 meter wall on top, before snapping on some 2x2 wood floors as a walkway, closing off the wall with some wood walls and finally assembling a canopy to protect the walkway from rain using 4 meters of wood poles wood beams connecting these, and then some thatch roofing leading upwards from the beams, covering the entire walkway and any stairs leading up to it. You can then lower and raise the walkway and stone wall height using some wood stairs at increments of one meter at a time, just like I'm doing here. This also creates a tunnel within the wall to use in combination with viewing ports to spot approaching enemies, or to keep yourself out of harm's way during an attack. This wall is also super easy to make convex or concave due to the cross section design and as long as you have the canopy covering the walkway you'll have no issues with decay from the rain. And if you've got any spare wood lying around you can also add in some wood poles and beams for a more pleasing aesthetic on the outside wall. Thanks so much for watching the video. This is a very similar design to my wood wall version, be sure to check that out in the card now, but allows for the tunnel below the walkway for hiding from aerial attacks as well as using the gaps in the wall as an effective archer slit or viewing port. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to let me know of any future builds you'd like me to cover. Until next time.